Buckle up, folks. This week's video is gonna be high voltage. <laughs> Alright, so last week we built a fully modular road kit in Blender, designed for flexibility, easy customization, and ready to be reused across any scene or environment. It turned out great! But when I looked at the final scene, I felt like um, something was off. It needed that one extra element to really bring it to life. And then, boom! That's when I had the idea. Power line. Just like the roads, modular, detailed, and ready to plug into the scene. First up, the main pole. While researching, I noticed that the top section of a power pole is usually narrower than the base. Which totally makes sense for stability. So let's start by blocking out that basic shape. Yeah, pole's done. Now onto the cross arms. <laughs> they might look simple, but they do all the heavy lifting. Let's add them in. By the way, you absolute incredible peeps, here's the mood board for today. I actually had to do quite a bit of digging to understand how electrical systems really work. So this reference board is the result of some deep research. Alright, here comes the transformer. Not the robot kind, but just as cool. This is the big box that steps voltage down for homes and businesses. And it's a key piece of the setup. A lot of you told me how much you dig my suave, smooth, radiophonic voice. And honestly, I can't thank you enough for that. <laughs> I didn't even know I had it. So get ready, because I fully intend to capitalize on it. Time to add the insulator. It's like a cute little shroom growing on the power lines cross arms. Oh, the funk! Let me know if you want me to do more time lapses with this kind of vibe or if you want something more relaxed. Either way, I'm all in. Okay, let's slap on the material. It's kind of messy at the moment, but trust me, it's gonna look nice by the end. Nice. 
I bounced around a lot while doing this. Texturing is honestly my biggest challenge. At this point, I'm just adding little details here, like a serial number. No worries about repetition though. If I duplicate the acid in the scene, the texture resolution is low enough that you won't see the same number popping up everywhere. If you're enjoying the video so far, I'd really appreciate it if you hit that like button. It helps me out a ton, and if you want to see more time lapses like this, subscribing is the best way to stay in the loop. Thanks so much for the support, it means a lot. And here's the full kit, now fully integrated into Unreal, including all the off-camera variations that I created. With this, just like with the modular roads, we're going to be able to create some seriously crazy networks. Alright, let me walk you through this. Let's set up four posts along this side of the road first. I did some digging online and found a super helpful tutorial by a guy named Zach D. Shout out to my boy! Go check out his channel, it's in the description. So thanks to that, I was able to create a blueprint that connects all the poles automatically. I mean, come on! Isn't that amazing? Alright, let's say that I want a telephone line hanging from the bottom part of the pole. No problem! This setup makes it super easy to add that in. I created these little attachments so you can, well, <laughs> attach them to the pole. Super simple, but they give you a lot of flexibility for adding extra details like wires or signs. Alright, so I replaced this mesh with the transformer variation. And now let's add a cross arm right there. 
I absolutely love how messy that wire network looks. It's chaotic, but <laughs> in the best way. Okay, now let's cross the street and switch things up with some one-sided poles for a change. And finally, let's pretend there's a house there, or maybe a gas station. All we do is add the service drop. Connect it to the line. And there you go. Just like that, the setup feels real. And that's it for today, folks. This one took a lot of digging and modeling, but I'm honestly really proud of the final results. Drop your thoughts in the comments, and as always, I'll catch you in the next one.